What is good, my G? All is well, man. Um, meeting is being. Oh, I'm like, wait, what? Why is it asking me that? <laughs> I never seen that. Said so this meeting is being recorded. Leave me or continue. I'm like, Mm-mm, I mean, that's uh, good. Though. Yeah, I'm like, but if if I leave, but that means that I'm offended that you recorded me. Like, I don't want to be in your damn recording. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, man, everything is good. I'm just um, processing and um, trying to, you know what it is, man? My spirit and my body is like, do nothing. But my mind is like, you got to do something. <laughs> That's like, that damn ego. I know, man. And, you know, it's like, there was this, um, it was this passage that we read in a book the other day saying creating sometimes is not doing anything. Sometimes creating something is resting because you need the energy to create that thing and you need stillness to even let the ideas flow to you. But you can't create anything if you're doing a million things and you know, you're not focusing in, focusing in on, the facts, which is you're tired, you're restless, you need to <laughs> like sit down and let your body just chill instead of feeling that you got to like be all over the place like social media on your website, on this, on that, doing this talk, doing that talk, calling that person, this and that. I'm like, damn, son, like, can a motherfucker clock out? <laughs> what have you been doing for that? Clocking out. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's um, I've been, I mean, I've still like even this morning, I'm like wrestling with myself. I'm supposed to be editing this video for a school, and I still haven't opened the damn fucking video. I'm just like, <laughs> I've been looking at my computer for like fucking forty minutes to maybe an hour, and still haven't like got one thing done. But again. Am I putting pressure on myself that doesn't need to be? You know, do I need to make myself feel this way? No, I don't. Because I do feel the way. It's not like I feel good about the shit. I'm definitely feeling like, oh, you're not doing shit. You should do more. How are you going to be accountable? And, you know, just kind of like what Manny said, you know, just getting in your head and um, and and criticizing and, and making yourself feel bad about fucking anything. <laughs> It's um like with the creative process that what I learned uh, a year or two ago was that it has its steps and its phases where, you know, we come up and realize that there's a problem, which is like the first step. And then we come up and we try to figure out what it is that's not working. But then there's a there's a moment of stillness before you get that aha moment. And um, that aha moment comes when you're not doing shit or when you're not even focusing on the problem because now you're just allowing, like you said, for new shit to come into your mind, new ideas and thoughts. And then, dude, you're an action taker, so it's just more so when you do it, just start it and see it through. Because you're, you're all about action. You're muted. Sorry. That's another thing. Um, you know, my shamanist had a call with her yesterday, and she's like, like why why do you feel that you have to take physical action to a spiritual problem like mm-hmm. like why why are you taking physical action when you can use like why don't you let the spirit work for you and align things up that way when you start taking action everything's in place and you don't have to try to force physical like f- friction is the word you use like you know, because this is exactly what happened, right? So, rebuilt the website, did the meditation page. Awesome. Super satisfied with that. One day, log on. My cousin's like, oh, well, I can't see it on this browser, but I can see it on this browser. And I'm like, damn. So, now I'm like having to do this extra work, right? And then I'm like, oh, okay, this feels good to be doing some extra work, you know, fixing shit. But at the end of the day, I'm like, I'm so tired of fixing this shit. Like, and then the mobile platform started messing up and then I have to go fix that. And then it's like, all of a sudden it's like, oh, I can possibly use my mobile um, app for the website to actually put my meditations on and subscribers on. And 
And then I'm like, wait, you're creating more problems to yourself, dude. Like I found that my mind is creating or I'm creating more problems out of stuff that's already built because I'm trying to like be the perfectionist. And I think that um, I feel like Arvell you're said it on top of it and like get ahead. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not even like I'm getting anywhere. I feel like I'm just running in circles. And like Arvell said the other day, he's like, yo, is your, <laughs> is your web- website pretty as fuck? but don't got nobody on it. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I do have people on my website, but that shit hit me hard. I'm like, I'm focusing so much on the aesthetics of things and I'm finding them that I'm keep having to do work on the aesthetics when I should be really focusing on the other shit. Mm. And so I've just been like, you know, I just been kind of taking that as, um, as knowledge, like, yo, Omar, like you keep finding yourself in this loop, you know, you keep wanting, you keep, you, you'll finish something and you're like, yeah, but because you're restless, you're like, oh, I need to do something. And then that's whenever I'm creating, like, oh, this needs to be fixed. Oh, this needs to be fixed. Oh, well, that needs to be fixed. I'm, I'm guilty like, of that. maybe nothing needs to be fixed. I'm totally guilty of that. I would, um, I yeah. thought, uh, what coming to me is like, look to see who's in your, in your um, network and see who you could delegate those tasks to and find a way to either barter or take care of them individually so that you could be like, Hey, this isn't working. And then you just offload it. And you know, obviously it might take a day or two, but now, you know, all right, cool. I'm on the same page as this person. Cause that's what I do. I don't know shit about computers. And I just realized that I can, uh, I can't be using my energy for the website. Stuff. <laughs> my boy that I used to work valet with, like it's been a very, I texted, I emailed him yesterday. It's been an amazing relationship that we have built in a story where when I started valet, we started working together and this was like six, seven years. And at this phase, he helps me with the website. He built them and we, we work that way where he just, he wants to see me grow and, and help. And it's like, without him, I wouldn't have shit of, I wouldn't have anything on my website and I would be yeah. where, where I am today. So I think delegation would be, is like what's coming to just pass down to you. Who would have yeah. is like something to sit on. Yeah, no, that is, I've been actually battling myself with that one for the whole year, pretty much. Um, making my, my life easier by trusting people to do things that I either don't want to do or don't have that much experience in. And so, you know, my mind is like, you can figure it out, but then it's like, you got to learn it. Then there's the learning curve. And then I find myself in a situation like I'm, I was just saying, where I'm just in this loop of not getting anywhere, but feeling like I'm doing a lot, you know? Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely go. It's like having, I need to uh, apply that. It's like having the materials to make a sword, and then you're trying to do it, but then there's like a blacksmith. that's like, yo, bro, here, you come here, and then he wants to learn about like meditation. Like, oh yeah, cool, let's, let's barter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went old, old school. I've been watching Avatar. <laughs> yo, me and my son, my youngest son, started watching it yesterday. It's very spiritual. Oh, it is. I was like, oh, you're going to get it now. He's like, what am I going to get? I'm like, you're going to get that it's awesome. <laughs> hey, you'll see. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen that that show, Manny, The Last Airbender, but um, yeah, I shit have. is fucking fire. It was a while ago. Uh, yeah, I sure. didn't. I didn't really get no. into it because I was just juggling too much shit at the time and we didn't have this you know, time that we have now. I'm actually watch it again just because you're talking about it. Oh, no. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah, it's on Netflix now. And man, man, connection. But I want to revisit what you were talking about, Manny. I know you weren't able to finish your thoughts if you want to expand on that. No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's fine. It's a conversation among friends here. You're sharing something with you. Cool. Um, um, that's it. How's, um, how's everybody's fitness been going the past week? Uh, I have made I have made a lot of progress with my hammock in the backyard. Um, I've I've learned how to use it, like you know, sitting <laughs> to like, lay like, down. No, th- yeah, like different positions. <laughs> yeah, you know, using a pillow without the pillow, looking you know uh, south, you know, looking north, you know where. The, depending on the time of the day, when the sun is sitting, I have a, I have a cell, a cover. Talking about direct yourself, well, yeah. my cell is fixed. I direct myself, <laughs> the hammock, 
just to so, so the face will hit my face, uh, the sun will hit my face. So the cell remains, I direct myself, okay? And, and the hammock. So he's doing uh, a great things for my back. Um, I think uh, also my, uh, my blood flow, because you know, my legs you know, are up. And the other day I fainted because my yes. blood pressure, right? So it's all about balance. So I thank you for helping me direct my hammock, you know, <laughs> even when the cell doesn't suffice. So let me, let me, we're, let me, we're let me definitely talking about the cell being docked. I want to talk about the sale in motion once you come back. Brief I'm to it. I, I took the, the headphones off. I just need to put the charger on this thing. But I'm listening. Go ahead, talk. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, so that's when the sale is docked. That's phenomenal for recovery. I actually like that you are taking time for that. Um, but let's definitely look into discussing some things that you can start to add. Or if you um, were doing, just bring back to help you. Okay the cardiovascular system for your blood flow and um just either just moving in general um yeah so to so check it i am um, i'm not back to my um routine with the cycling yet um that to me i wait every spring i wait for this time this is my my time to shine when it comes to taking care of my body um, because it allows me to, it's, it's therapeutic besides the exercise. Biking, I don't just cruise. It's not just for leisure, for leisure. to me, it's, a, it's an actual workout. Um, so I try to go not just for distance, but for speed. I track myself um, with Strava. So I challenge myself. Uh, to be my own time. So to, so, so to me, that's the preferred method of exercise. However, um, although it works well, for, uh, does wonders for my, my uh, lungs and my heart, my blood and my legs, it does put some strain, believe it or not, because of the type of positioning and distance on my uh, shoulders uh, here, my traps, my, my, my shoulders. Um, and even my, 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 my back, you know, especially my lower back, because of the um, aggressive um, riding position of a road bike. And the duration of the time. And yes, and you know, sitting on that saddle for, for a while as well. Um, but yeah, that, that is something. What, what am I doing different? Um, I guess. You got a man. I, I got a, a I'm, I, I am my own man. There's a picture of a man in this box. What, what this is, is a resistance band set um, that supposedly you can, you can put um, more than one band uh, at the same time. You can put all of them if you like, um, sort of like an accordion style. Mm -hmm. um, it comes with the, you know, this, the handles and uh, something for the door um, so that you can put it on. I don't know why I put this shit, but anyways. Oh yeah, right here. Something My uncle was asking for something like this. On the, on but the, to say, that's a little ass box for all that stuff. Yeah, so you put it behind the, you know, on the top of the door and then you, you, you know, latch this, one of these connectors. A little tip, make sure to put that on the side of the door where the hinges are so that you don't ah. just fuck up your door. Good, thank mm -hmm. you for telling me that. So, um, so yeah, so you get these things, um, this, this hooks, this anchors, put it right to it. And basically you can you know, work out using the door and everything, but the reason why I got this set rather than others is because by using this combination of things without this, uh, the handles, Without the bands, I can go in the backyard and um, put on a frame that I have up top, and I can do pull-ups uh, with them um, because the thing to grab it is, is just too thick. But with this, I can get around to it. Uh, so that's my new plan. Um, I haven't started using it. Actually, today is going to be my first day on this. Um, I just got it. I waited for a freaking month on this thing to get here from Amazon. 
Um, but I've been waiting for a while for that. Um, and lastly, I do use um, another band that a chiropractor gave me uh, two years ago when I went to see him for my upper back so that I can, you know, have some resistance just opening up and uh, stretching my, my, the, my back and the nerves are a lot of points. Yeah. What's up, Marlon? Great yeah. afternoon, Kings. How you doing, brother? So I yeah. I don't want to interrupt Manny. No, no, no. You are right on time, my brother. So that was my part, um, uh, Rafi. I am not fully engaged in a routine uh, yet. I was waiting for this thing. Uh, my outlet has been biking. And even that, I, I'm not doing on the regular, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. It's a, it's a matter of uh, conditioning. You know, you start getting getting into it you know your body gets adjusted your knees everything again i think you've been doing it what weekly right that's a routine um at least uh twice a week now actually i went to the office for example on wednesday um that's 18 miles round trip and then on saturday i went again boom um yeah i would look to um so Actually, finish your thought before. Yeah, so uh, this afternoon, I'm planning to take a ride to Prospect Park uh, just for a few laps in there. Um, and, and, and lastly, what I was saying is, um, so to me, because of um, you know, my back, what happened the other day, I know we all get into this thing of, oh, now we have time, and I'm going to do this and that. Yo, many days, you don't wake up in the mood for, for none of that. Uh, you might wake up in a very productive mood, but it has nothing to do with physical. It has to do with things that you just slacked off, slacked on uh, for days to do, and then you just active. I was, I was over the weekend. I tried to relax um, as much as possible. But yesterday, I started like at 9 a.m. I went to in, my, in front of this computer. I went to bed like at 1:30 in the morning, wow. and it was I was on on, 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 activated in front of this computer. Uh, no time for nothing else. Um, but it's about balance, man. It's about balance. And, uh, you know, I'm going to get into this bike. I needed that rest. I needed for my, for my back, for me to be able to do things. You know, I had an injury, basically. So for me to be able to be confident in starting something and not stopping uh, the next day and then being discouraged, um, I had to direct my cell to the cell under the you know over the hammock there's actually the um the video i made the module made yesterday for today it had talks about stress and like different stress scales i talk about a term called minimum effective dose and that's kind of the minimum needed to do to uh see an improvement you can add that you can apply that to working yeah. out work except everything that we do where just even walking will be good and it will help with what you're doing for cycling. It'll help with how you're feeling with your workouts because when we walk at a low intensity, that's always going to focus on recovery. So for you to recover between workouts, for you to recover between um, days, recover between activities, that's always based off of low intensity work and um, just the cardiorespiratory system being able to bring your heart rate down. So with the cycling, it's good that you're doing that and you might mention your focus is more so speed to push it. So that's going to be more of a high intensity activity. So just to, just when you think about the tree of cardio respiratory system at the top, you have one pillar, high intensity, then low intensity, make sure you're feeding into both because low intensity will always be dominant and predominant in what we do in life because we want to make sure everything is honestly low intensity until we decide to take action on um, whatever projects we have. But yeah, with your back, with the band pull parts that you're doing, it, it's interesting because you, what's most likely needed for you is to get the lower trap muscle engaged more to take tension off of the upper trap. We tend mm -hmm. to carry a lot of tension up here. So the trap itself has upper, middle, and lower. I need to record an exercise that's great for just getting engagement down there to help mm -hmm. distribute the load, and that would help make... But I, I, think, I think that's exactly what I was doing with the... With the with this band because it's in front of my chest, right? And it was targeting my spine right between the, 
shoulder the blades, the shoulder blades. So it was like right in the middle. Picture the shoulder blades, draw a line right in the middle. That's the area. That's, that's the area. Um, along the spine or? Along, along the spine. Along the, along the spine. Side. Go, going from that point, from the midpoint between the shoulder blades, going up to the, my, my upper neck over, over here. So all of that is a, is a pinched nerve, you know, inflamed. And uh, my, my, my back is super tight. So by doing this, even without it right now, it's cracking. But with it, I had the resistance. So it's, it's, it's even more so. And then I go, you know, right. And then I go, you know, left uh, with it. Um, and it helps uh, uh, up here. But that first one, which is in front of my chest, um, that helps right there what you were talking about. I suggest for you to hold that end position mm -hmm. for some time, like start off with 10 seconds, do that for, for a couple of, for like two sets to see how it feels to keep tension on there and to see if at a certain point you feel pain. Because if you feel pain at a certain point, now you know that areas, the muscles in that areas threshold of, of, of strength before it needs to, um, before it gives out in that sense. Yeah, all right. Keep me updated with that. I'm interested. Mm. And when you're laying on the hammock, are you laying like, is your body all like messed up or are you in like in a straight line? Because that also can carry weight on your muscles in a. Very yeah, no, I actually make, make it so that the part where my uh, head is, is a little bit higher than the opposite side where my feet are. So that way, and I put a little pillow. So it's more like I'm sitting. Um, not, not straight down, but at an angle, and my back is rested, and then my legs are up, but not too high up, but they lose, you know, too much blood flow. Because if that's the case, then it's like counterintuitive. So it's, they're elevated, but not, it's not a V. It's more like uh, head, this is the head, and so it's more like uh, you -ish. Like this. You know what I mean? So it's not this, it's more. This. What, I, what I would suggest, also if you can, like a boomerang. Hey, that's the best one. Yeah, yeah. it's like literally a boomerang. The um, yeah. try to get a pillow by the the shoulder blades where you are because with the spine itself, we can get a lot more extension out of that. And from sitting oh. down a lot when you're forward, even though you have your head forward, that's exacerbating just one. Now bring your head further away from the the natural curvature of the spine. So lift. <laughs> the chest up and that would make you feel a little bit more normal in the chest in the in the neck where you won't need that pillow because you're more mm. in alignment got it got it got it that, that's actually a great tip uh because i was wondering i do use a pillow for the for my neck and, and and head but um i'm adjusting you know shifting every now and then and you're right i think i should have something straight for the back yo let me tell you something my journey with this back situation ever since i had an accident a few years ago has been incredible. Testimony to that. This thing costs like a hundred and something dollars. Mm -hmm. Recommended by my chiropractor. You see this? It's called Front Therapeutica. Yeah. So it's something that I had in my office. So you have the. Hold on. You see the how this is the the curvature to this. Yeah. Um, so this supports, you know, your back, your lower back, and then it has an angle, as you can see here, also to the sides. And then this is for your neck. So your neck. I can't, rests, see, you can't see the neck. That's too sorry. low. But your neck rests right here. You see the curvature? Yeah. So you can see how it's kind of having you curve a little bit, kind of the area I was mentioning. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same um, purpose because we just live in a world where we're so rounded forward that it's honestly, we need to open up more. And that's why the, you doing that exercise for your back is going to help you be mindful of it. And the chiropractor should Fig definitely figuratively be and literally. Yeah. Literally. I'm a literally. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm an old man because I, I kind of need that stuff, but I know what, what it was born. You know, I, I had, a, I had an accident, you know, with my dog and, and, and the bike, you know, with an attachment I had to it. He, he ran after a freaking cat 
um, when I was stopped at a light and I started to move forward. So I put my, my weight on one pedal mm. and, and I, was, I was up, I wasn't on my seat. And, and he had the, the attachment was to the seat and then going to the side. And when I put my body weight, I was up just to move forward for the first time. Um, my, my body weight was over the front wheel. So when he started chasing a, a, for, for, this, for this cat in the opposite, opposite, opposite uh, direction that I was going, he took my whole rear wheel and Ooh. everything left. And he goes forward. So I'm like with the hand on the handle and I just went whoop, right over and to the side, you know? So it wasn't a direct over, it was a... So when I... Honestly, you know, that's fell, the proper way to fall. You rolling onto your back, but that's a whole other conversation. No, I actually fell on my, on my hands. I had to release the wheel oh, and, and, that's and, and put my hands forward. So the thing is that that's, that's when the whole thing started with the, with the back there. Um, achievement, although I am still in conditioning mode, uh, let me brag a little bit on this one. I'll, I'll finish here. I uh, one of the segments of Strava, you know, you you measure uh, your own personal records, you know, uh, second, third place against yourself uh, many times. But at the same time, they compare you to other people for that day, in 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 that particular segment, um, for the for the month, or for the year, or all time, and. Um, in one of the segments uh, coming up on Second Avenue, there's a big hill on Second Avenue from 40. It's, it's, they only measure on that segment a few blocks, like four blocks. But the thing is, it's, 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 a, up, it's, a, it's a big hill that, that goes from 46 to 43rd Street, like right before it goes down to 42nd again. And I, and I made, Number three, I was best for the day, the month, you know, the, the, all that, my personal record. But I met, I met number three out of 18,000 of all time. Good shit, dude. In, in, in that oh, hit. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. Them legs are working. Master that's Manny. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's Master still. Manny. And, and I'm still not, you know, condition, condition. But I guess that day I felt energized enough. I was giving, I was hitting it. I was hitting it. And I remember coming That's up that here and passing everybody. Now, and I've actually made number one or like top three, like when the Williamsburg Bridge, you know, that which is very challenging for the whole bridge, but but not for like a particular day, you know what I mean? And for like a week, I've been, you know, but um, of all time, out of eighteen thousand people, that's like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> And the other two in front of me only, only got me by like a second, you know, a second, two seconds. So. And you also see I'm when back. you start to use the band and you're working out, um, even if it's a day or two, you're going to build, like if you think about yourself like a car and when you put upgrades, you have more horsepower where you can tap into making effort that you're doing now easier and less exhausting on the body. You'll keep breaking Absolutely. these records. So that's just what Absolutely. it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, believe, believe it or not, something I was laughing about with Jamie and uh, Jamie went to Prospect Park, Prospect Park the other day and he did a you know, one lap. Uh, it was like 14 some minutes. And my personal, that was his personal record. And my personal record was like 10 minutes and you know, 11 seconds and stuff like that. Um, but I'm looking at it. Oh, you had to rain because, on parade. <laughs> yeah, because it, it shows you, you know, it, when you look at their data, it, can, it shows you not only your own and other people, but if you're following, like I'm following him, he follows me. Um, when you look at his data, it shows you your own, like to compare where you are. Um, so I'm, I'm looking at, wow, like that's all, like four minutes, almost five minutes difference, right? In one lap. But I'm looking at the day for my personal record. And that shit was in 2015. And I'm like, fuck, I, I actually did that in 2015, not having been able to beat it. <laughs> what kind of condition was I in, was I in then? And I haven't been able to improve that shit. So, Crazy, right? Yeah, but I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about it because I wasn't looking for it. But it popped up when I was looking at his. And I'm like, oh shit. I wasn't paying attention to that. And, and I haven't been going to Prospect Park on the regular or nothing like that, but I have been, I've been 
there. And uh, just to see that there's my, my best was five years ago. Motivating. So what kind of analogy for life is that one? Yeah. So, and so, yeah, Ooh. you're right. Oh. You're right. You're right. Mm. Hi, hi, Richard. How are you, bro? Welcome. You are muted, my friend. Can you hear me? Yes. How are you? Good. How are you? Hey, man. We're alive. We're well. Mm. We're connecting. It's good to hear. Welcome to the group. Thank you. Richard, Richard, I must, I must say, man, I was looking at uh, your pictures on IG the, uh, yesterday, man, and that that beard is freaking, you know, glorious. Not not the size of it, but just. Yeah, mm-hmm. thank you, man. I I picked it up myself. Uh, you know, taught myself how to cut my hair during uh, this pandemic and cooking, just everything. That thing is 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 neat and thick. There's no patches, no nothing. It's just. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh shit. Lots <laughs> of time in front of the mirror. <laughs> hey you can't put time i mean you're growing it even in the middle that's why i don't grow much so kudos brother yeah i don't grow on the sides right here just like right in this area very dope so you you fo- yeah. you're putting your focus where you have <laughs> you have it exactly. yeah that's yep. good that's good. <laughs> that's good i have one side over here that grows you know uh more hair than the other so i have a patch yeah so there's no balance i have to like uh, it's a mess <laughs> How have things been with you, Richard, with the uh, course? Have you been able to get access to the workout app? And are the, how are the modules going for you? Um, I, you know, I, I haven't really been engaging on the app. Um, I, uh, so I was working at the uh, assemblage um, up until the end of March, beginning of April, um, as a complex general manager for two of their locations. Um, and it, it was very difficult kind of closing down the two buildings that I was managing. Um, so I took like a month just to disconnect from everything and just, you know, recenter myself, figure out what I wanted to do, uh, things that I was passionate about. Um, and I'm finally there, which is why I'm now opening up uh, the space to um, interact uh, with the community. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know yourself, you know what you needed. So kudos on that. For sure. Very dope. Yes, sir. Um how's um I'm sorry that I'm I'm not moderating this. You are Rafi, but I, I've met um uh, Richard, you know, before this whole pandemic uh, thing happened and I went to the assemblage, you know, one of one of the locations that uh, he manages and uh, Mike and I were um looking at the space, you know, beautiful first of all. Um but they had at the same time, we're looking at these uh, rooms that they had for meditation and, and, and for all these things. And I was telling uh, Richard, yo, like this would be amazing to have like Omar, who's right here on the call, mm-hmm. you know, come over and, sure. uh, and do a session, you know, with the, with the, with the members here. But, and I was telling Mike, yo, could, would you imagine if we were to come here once a week with Omar in that, in that room and, 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 and just close the doors, put a camera and broadcast uh, to our members or you know recorded a session it was so zen and so be, yeah. oh man have you seen that thing man? Both in brooklyn? <laughs> huh yeah uh, uh buildings are downtown. both in brooklyn no downtown uh, my hand yeah, yeah there's one um uh in the financial district on Fulton street and then there's another one uh or two actually um in the nomad neighborhood so then the views are insane but, yeah so, we, what we, is it called again uh the assemblage okay yeah yeah yeah. Um, uh, there's every intent to reopen um, all three buildings uh, once uh, they lift some of these social distancing um, guidelines and restrictions. Um, however, today we just got some really unfortunate news. The founder um, of the assemblage passed away. Um, he lost his battle to cancer this morning. So um, it's a little bit of a sad day as well. <laughs> wow. For your yeah. loss, man. Yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. How how is uh, I was on mute. I'm so I'm sorry to hear that, brother. Um, uh, yeah, you know, there's no words yeah. for that. Yeah. How is that gonna I affect think, uh, um, how you guys move now? Uh, you know, it's uh, he he uh, was diagnosed with um, stage three uh, melanoma uh, back in 2008, um, and then it went into uh, remission, um, and uh, this was his second bout of it. So. Uh, mentally, he was prepared and he was preparing everyone around him to kind of um, take the lead 
uh, you know, once uh, he passed on. So he had been making preparations um, at least for the last six months to a year. Um, he has teenage kids, um, his, you know, ex-wife, uh, his partner, um, and all of that. But um, I mean, the established community, it's, it's very strong. Um, Rodrigo's vision will live on. Um, everyone is very passionate about uh, the mission um, and, and, and what the intent and purpose was behind it originally. So um, I think everything will just fall into place um, when the time is right. Okay. Very yeah. good to hear. Yeah. Uh, does, does that mean that now you are more, um, you have more responsibility as uh, the facilities? Uh, you're, you're the general um, manager, I, right? For by, yeah, for, I mean, by the location. Not, not really. Um, how it works kind of in these hospitality management um, agreements is, um, you know, I, I report directly to um, the chief operating officer for the management group. Um, and then Rodrigo is the owner, um, right? We really just have meetings with him to kind of go over his vision, um, financial uh, performance um, of each property. Um, so that doesn't change that much. Uh, maybe it uh, opens up a bit more flexibility. Um, for us to be more creative um, and share our visions and hopefully see those come into fruition. What are some things we have in mind that you would like to add to that? Um, I, I discussed this with uh, Manny and uh, Mike when I posted them at the assemblage, but I think a lot needs to be done in terms of uh, broadening and then widening the audience um, that the assemblage um, attracts right now and they don't do it purposely I just think uh, initially maybe the um, the marketing um, was a bit off um, considering what they sell um, and, and the type of clientele they attract and just wasn't really alignment there so um, one thing that I want to do is uh, work on getting uh, more you know brown and and, and uh, black people into the space um, because we have minorities who are members there who comment about it frequently as well in terms of the programming that we offer and things it's very niche and doesn't really cover um, all members uh, so that's something that's, uh, I'm very passionate about and want to um, see happen you know what's interesting uh, Rich right now you are on this call and uh, aside from me uh, you have the, the three members who are into wellness as a profession, you know, whether yeah. it's, uh, you know, fitness or uh, mental, uh, you, 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 that, that's covered, right? And we had all three of them in mind, along with, uh, you know, a couple of other members to uh, be part of uh, our efforts to support you in that vision. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then this thing happened and then it like happened, yeah. you said you, you took out you took a month away as well so i know yeah. you know i reached out to you a few times yeah. um so we didn't even get to discuss it with them and and now yeah. you are here happens to be that it's just us on the call yeah. um and i think I, i'm not sure i think that i had set, forwarded omar uh an email from the assemblage at, before COVID happened, just to tell them about, Omar, please, please correct me if I'm wrong. I think I did, or I wanted to, um, just to show them, show him uh, what you guys are working on. We're working on at the time, you know, the the fact that the assemblage assisted, the, yeah. fact, the fact that you know is this this building, this community, you know, membership based, and um, the different types types of sessions that you guys were offering at the time, um, mm -hmm. but. I don't know if I actually sent it because I know we had just discussed brainstorming for how Mastermind could come in to right. support you and mm -hmm. also take advantage of the space um, yeah. and the platform. Um, so I think it's time to go there. Uh, Omar, did I, did I ever send that to you about the assemblage? I'll be honest. Um, I have no idea, man. I. <laughs> I am so lost in the uh, in the the what has been before. Um, <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna put it. Yeah, yeah, nah, for real. I'm like even trying to remember conversations. I'm like, why can't I remember anything? Like, right. it's just, <laughs> it's <just> like, <laughs> like, how, I don't even like how how long ago was that even? It feels uh, like it was like not that, long ago, man. but it was like two months. No, that was a while back. I mean, like the, even more than that. See, I don't even yeah. know. It was a while, yeah. Well, the um, it's whatever the case may be, full support. 
Appreciate yep. it. What's good? You know, yeah, it, I mean, even if, know, even if it has to move into the virtual realm of things. And yeah. I do understand the internal aspects of um, how things need to play out. Um, mm -hmm. But whatever the case may be, we can even do it just with only POC that mm -hmm. are willing to step into a Zoom call just for that moment, you know? Yeah. And then we can talk about the rest later, you know? Mm -hmm. um, right. Just however we need to support and uh, show up for you. Yeah, I think there's um, opportunity there. I, the assemblage has completely moved to uh, a virtual and online platform, um, uh, you know, at the moment. Um, and I think it'll remain that way probably until uh, early fall. Um, and that's that's a best, uh, yeah. the most optimistic outlook. Um, so, uh, but but yeah, let me let me connect with. Uh, uh, Marita and see um, uh, what we can do uh, in terms of a virtual um, offering of time. Um, that'll be cool. Yeah, and I'm, I'm doing a lot of it. Um, I actually have a corporate Zoom meeting tomorrow mm -hmm. with uh, my partner, and yeah. we. Um, this this is a woman of color. She's a mm -hmm. therapist. Like I yeah. have a, I've been building an extensive network of people of color who are therapists, but mostly. Mm -hmm. Of women as of now, yeah. but we got two dudes yeah. who I know who are therapists. It's crazy. I'm like, really? It's only like two of you? That's crazy. All in New York? I right. can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did your tooth come out? Yeah, I got to pull it out. No, Let's go. Like, it's gonna <laughs> oh, okay. Life call. Right. Come here. Yeah. Um, word up. But, um, but yeah, just, you know, so we already have structure. We have, um, you know, it's it's all about understanding stress management, understanding um, how you actually feel in relation to you being a person of color in a space that may not accept or you find these microaggressions or you find mm -hmm. that there's space that you can't talk about certain things because it may yeah. come off negative because it comes from your culture. Right. And so it, it's a lot. But um, yeah. but yeah, we um, we usually actually do specific POC companies Well, we'll have a like mm -hmm. come in and speak to the people of color only but right. you know we have extended it out to you know the entire group and getting everybody involved and it's also interactive so we can mm -hmm. even set up like some breakout rooms where we yeah. can have people okay. go into breakout rooms and do interactive things um yeah. so yeah can, can I just share real quick? Um, I just want to share this screen because uh, I've been receiving your emails, uh, Richard, not from you, but from the assemblage. Uh, very, very well curated. I don't know who's doing that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Santiago Penuela. Let me see. He's good for what he does. Dang it, too. <laughs> Rafi, oh, can you allow me to share the sorry. screen? Can you grab me access right. to share? Do that. Uh, you go into. Uh, well, I thought I had a chat for everybody to share, so I'll change that in preference of, I guess, screen share. Yeah, yeah when you click on share screen, does it, does it show you a way to offer others? Share screen, it says enter full screen when a participant shares screen. Allow participants share screen? There you go. Uh, it doesn't say allow. I got to go to advanced. Interesting. Okay. Just be able to off the rip. Uh, let's see here. Share screen. Yeah. Uh, host disable attendee screen sharing. What the? That's the message I get. Um, anyways. All right. I just shared. I just gave it to you. It's oh, you did? Security. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Got it. Got it. So. Uh, Are you? Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. I was okay. gonna let you. I was gonna talk while you were um, getting the share up, but you already got it. Sure, sure. So, um, yeah, so I, I, I just love the way that you're curating this. And this is from February 24th, but I just want to, um, mm -hmm. this, this yeah, particular use, image. Um, uh, a splash um, to kind of design these event pages. So all of these graphics and stuff, it's built through uh, Splash. Nice. Yeah. Um, so I see that you have like the, the, you know, you do a podcast and you have like all mm -hmm. these different things that you were offering. Yeah. Like, right before this thing exploded, right? I mean, right. And still, but still, we're still offering this um, same programming, uh, you know, virtually. Um, we're this still was, doing yeah, this was from Monday right here. American, yep, all of that. Tai Chi, 
um, yeah. Nam Yoga, cacao ceremonies. <clears throat> oh, that's sweet. Yeah, we definitely should talk then because I'm, um, that makes sense why you said that, Manny. I'm um, 100% in the wellness space um, as far as workshops, lessons, meditations. Awesome. Um, my partner is a yoga instructor. And um, yeah, man, we, uh, we, we have our company, Crash Bell. Uh, we do a lot of kid stuff and I hold a lot of meditations and um, we can talk. This is, this is nice. a good site. Are, are you keeping this to, um, to meditation and yoga uh, and breath work, uh, breath work or are you moving, um, adding any element of fitness uh, to work out from home? Yeah, I, you know, the, so with the assemblage, when it comes to the uh, daily wellness and the programming, um, uh, you know, as a brand, I think that um, we're, we're uh, open to, to everything um, in terms of offerings. Um, but uh, the, the, so the classes that you see there, the reason that we offer those are because those practitioners have been vetted. Um, they've been with the assemblage for well over a year. And that's the only reason why we offer those specific classes, because that's what uh, the practitioners um, know how to teach. <laughs> Um, but sure, if there's, uh, you know, a, another class um, that would, would be of interest to members, um, uh, then absolutely, uh, we'd be interested. In, it seems uh, like demo there's a vetting process regardless. Yeah, there's like. a, there's a, yeah, so there's a demo process um, and uh, there's a team of membership experience managers, um, one for each property um, that, uh, when we were open, that would meet physically, um, weekly with uh, all the practitioners that would send an inquiry uh, to the assemblage. Uh, they would sit down with them and do a demo uh, based on how the uh, member would experience uh, the class. Um, and then from that, uh, with the set of guidelines um, that were brand approved, uh, they would then uh, submit that to uh, myself and the uh, GM for the third property. Um, and then we would approve um, and put them on a, a 90 day trial period. Uh, then after that, they would get a six month uh, complimentary membership exchange um, to teach two classes a month. Got it. I, I'm trying yeah. to get to see if there's a, uh, this is just one, okay. Omar, look at this, look at this. Uh, ah, shit, I thought I could open this screen here. Look at <laughs> this sitting area right here for yoga and stuff. Um, Beautiful. And so, so so freaking cozy and, and nice uh, outdoor terrace. You could do something here. And this is just yeah, a John Street great. location. That's just a yeah. John Street location. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now this oh, is actually this, this a is a room. This is a retreats. room. Is yeah, there a picture one. of this? Why is there a place where I can get this room going? This is. Mm. I saw this thing and uh, I fell in love, Omar. This I'll try, I'm sure I have some some uh, yeah I'm sure I have some videos and uh, photos I can send you how to find them for the the gong room you want it for right uh, yeah it's amazing that thing was like I want to fall asleep here after a meditation <laughs> yeah it's a great space yeah that's awesome well I'm gonna interject really quick um, as far as my fitness um, breath I definitely started looking into tracking that protein intake um but i have not actually begun to do any activity towards muscle building i've been riding my bike as well um and and also walking with contemplation <laughs> um, i've been doing a lot of walking too with my uh yeah man and we walk in yeah man today. yeah and nah. just like walking far as shit too like we would never ever walk that far whenever the city no. was up you know yeah. <laughs> like, yeah do we just yeah walk the fucking deep bushwick this is crazy <laughs> like, we walked to, but that's we walked pretty much all the way to your house manny yeah from from where i'm at we walked to your house we walked past you like three or four avenues came all the way back but nice. damn we were, might as well went to fort green <laughs> nice, yeah, nice. an hour i would ask you McDonald's. i would ask you omar um what did you learn about the protein intake? Were you taking too little? Definitely. Much? Based on based on the the um the the speed of my metabolism, you know, um, 
And so even just purifying other aspects of my body so that I can start to um, absorb the nutrients. Uh, and that's something that's come up in another fashion, but, you know, it's also a part of the whole thing, you know, drinking more water and, you know, lim limiting the, uh, this week I'm actually chilling out on everything, but limiting the intake of any substance. Heard you. So like how Say what? It would make you hungrier depending on, depending on the substance. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I mean like um, liquid substance, um, yeah. any alcohol, any, because me and Stephanie have been enjoying, and we're not getting wasted or anything, but, you know, we love tequila, we love wine, and uh, <laughs> so we've been getting it in, and, you know, we got the gluten-free right. beer, <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, it's it still all breaks down to sugar, so, um, <clears throat> so just really watching that. How would you say your gut health is? Because that's going to be one of the biggest uh, issues with being able to absorb a lot, especially proteins. That's where it gets broken yep. down. Exactly. And so that's actually one of the main things is actually focusing on gut health health, and um, allowing myself to to learn how to bring in new types of nutrients and, um, you know, up my probiotic and microbiome count. Um, we've started taking this he shu wu. Um, hey babe, is that called he shu wu? He shu, he shu, he shu, he wu. Um, and it has a lot to do with helping the gut and, um, and liver and digest and process and, uh, break down. Is, is that so, Chinese kombucha? <laughs> kinda. It sounds like the original <laughs> form of powder. it. It's powder. It's, um, oh, oh, that's just the brand. Uh, that's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a Japanese car, guys. All right. He should yeah. work. <laughs> it goes 72 <laughs> only. <laughs> but, Would you um, be able to share that? Like how you spell it? I want to look into that. Yeah, I'll, I'll go get it now. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, just that's kind of one of the things I really want to process is um, that whole idea. Oh, here you go. I'm going to take a picture of that. You want to check it? Now, what I've been doing, and I still want to break it down. I got it. I want to break it down even more into just the fundamental actual ingredients. I take this probiotic called Culturel to just help give did me. You, did you take an image of it so I can stop holding it? Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> I thought you heard me before. <laughs> My head's tired. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What is happening? So I take this, like, um, I call it the holy trinity of emergency probiotic for vitamin C and more pro and probiotics. Uh, this probiotic pill called Culturel, I think it has, it gives you 20 billion probiotics. Um, and Metamucil, which I'm really looking to just find what the root ingredients are that work in that. And since I've been taking it, I feel amazing. I'm, I, I can tell the difference with my energy. And even when I'm using the bathroom, like just to be straight up with everybody, it's coming out clean. It's coming out. I'm not doing droplets. It literally looks like the inside of my intestine when I shit. I'll just keep it blatant. And I feel it word up. huge because I'm now I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, cool. Everything's going very smoothly through my tract. I'm, I'm just excreting waste. There's nothing else unless it's corn, you know? Yeah. Corn doesn't get digested. So, literally. yeah, no, it's, um, it's really important, and I think metamucil is magnesium. Metamucil is fiber. Fiber, fiber. Yeah, I think it's like um, husk or some shit that I, I need. I need to just realize. I need to just do my research. And be like, okay, cool. These are the actual ingredients. You can save a shit, a lot of money if you just get this, that, and third, and get the same benefit of metamucil, and not give these brands money. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually uh, I'm really on that one supporting these people but the gut health is very um something i need to uh husk powder yeah psyllium is a type of fiber made from the husk of psyllium seed so just go get some psyllium i'm gonna start growing my own garden of gut health things but yeah now that's that's why we're, we're ready to go bro um i need a, mm -hmm. i need like i need to be able to grow shit and take care of my body and, and be able to harvest my own food and build my own shit. I got it. So we've been talking about it a lot lately, but um, 
I actually just realized that I never actually signed up for the app. So if you did not see, I just sent my info over to get the download for the app so I can start with the program because um, I think having having someone to have structured workouts will help me to have more motivation rather than having to yes. find that my routine. Cause I mean, I, I do know a lot about the body and not a lot about the things that I want to build and how to build it. Sometimes I get bored of the stuff that I'm doing and, mm-hmm. and looking up new stuff is, you know, fucking takes time. That, like, I don't want to be fucking do like even for myself, my boy, he's in the same industry. And when we work out, we do workouts. I just say, yo, what are you doing? Just because I'm trying to take, things off of my plate you know i'm doing it for other people so i'm just trying to automate things for my for me and that helps with mm-hmm. me clearing more space to be able to help others and work on my projects so the name of the game is being able to automate eliminate automate delegate eliminate what's truly not needed automate what you do repetitively and then delegate the stuff that we're like all right i could do this but my time is elsewhere could be done at, it put a better use elsewhere yeah exactly all right, we're going to have to wrap up for, and I'd go to another call. Any final thoughts, closing thoughts by anybody? Uh, great to meet you. <laughs> Likewise. Yeah. If you need any information from us for uh, just to move that forward with the assemblage, assemblage, just let yeah. us know. For sure. Cool. Omar, it was always a pleasure. And then Manny. Likewise. You Good seeing you guys. Everything. Take it easy, Jens. All right, talk soon. Peace, guys.